Hello, I'm Richard with 3 b for You Custom Conversions. And welcome to a, an episode where we're going to talk about batteries. It's a uh, sunny, cold, windy uh, day here in Northern California, late November 2015. Behind me is the 1973 BW Thing. Uh, one of the projects that we're currently working on and uh, the object of a, a series that we're currently doing. But at the current time we're waiting on parts and so it's just uh, on hold until we receive the parts and we can move forward. So today we're just going to talk about some battery basics and we're going to talk about lithium iron phosphate cells. So stay with me and we'll uh, have a quick uh, discussion on some of the properties of lithium iron phosphate cells. All right, lithium iron phosphate cells, LiPo4 as they are uh, sometimes referred to, are rated typically at 2,000 life cycles at 80% depth of discharge. That means that they can be charged and discharged 2,000 times if you're discharging them to a depth of 80%. You're 80% discharging those cells. Now, somewhere long ago, I read that, you know, 3,000 life cycles was equivalent to 10 years worth of driving. And if that's true, then 2,000 life cycles is about six and three quarters years of driving if you're discharging those cells each time to 80% depth of discharge. But that's not the way you want to do it. In reality, we don't fully discharge our, our pack each and every time. As a matter of fact, we seldom do. If you have... Uh, a requirement to drive 50 miles, well you don't design the pack to take you 50 miles, you design a pack that'll take you 75 miles. You always want margin and so that you're not fully discharging your pack either. So here's reality. If you only discharge your pack 50%, you will get one and a half to two times the life cycles. And so that would equate to 3,000 to 4,000 life cycles. And now you're looking at 10 to, you know, 13 and a half years worth of driving. But, you know, there's times I don't discharge that much. And if you only discharge it to 20% depth of discharge, they have even greater life cycles. Um, and most of the stuff, the reports that I've read, they just listed it as unlimited. Well, here's the part that uh, you don't hear very often. And that is that after the rated life cycles, and, uh, you know, if that's 2,000, the cells still have 80% of their original capacity. That's what they consider the life of those cells. When they are um, degraded to the point where there's only 80% of the original capacity, that you know, is its, their um, rated life. So if you had a battery pack that had a range of 100 miles when new, when you had gone the uh, rated number of life cycles, you would still have an 80 mile range pack. Now that's part of the beauty of the lithium iron phosphate cycles uh, versus say lead acid, is that lead acid, once they've done the rated number of life cycles, they're toast, time for recycling. And uh, so here's the other Good news. Well, the bottom line in all of this is that 
even if you're fully discharging that pack each and every time, you're going to get, you know, uh, almost seven years worth of driving. And I guarantee you, seven years from now, they're going to have a much better battery that will be uh, smaller, lighter, and more energy dense. And whether your cells still have life in them or not, you'll po probably want to upgrade just to have the, the latest and greatest. It's kind of like, you know, uh, flat screen TVs, laptop computers, so forth. Uh, most people don't replace them because they need replacement. It's because they want the latest and greatest. And I think we'll see that same thing hold true with uh, our lithium cells. But anyway, whatever you choose to do, uh, you know, run them to 80% depth of discharge, 50% depth of discharge. It's your car built your way, and you can enjoy it how you see fit. So we thank you for watching. Stay with us. We'll have a little more on batteries coming up, as well as as soon as we get the parts for the uh, VW thing, we'll be doing some more videos on that also. See you next time.